Hag it up. This song is perfect for this segment on the heels of New York Fashion Week. We're catching up with the designer behind the it bag that was not on the runways this season. The Telfar shopping bag sells out in seconds. It's nicknamed the Bushwick Birkin for its popularity in Brooklyn's Bushwick neighborhood and a play on the iconic Hermes Birkin bag that sells out for thousands of thousands of dollars. Telfar's vegan faux leather tote retails for a fraction of that amount. Telfar Clemens designed the elusive bag, but he'll tell you his brand is so much more. We went for a bike ride with him and then met up at his headquarters in Brooklyn. I think for so many people, they first heard about you with the bag. Mm -hmm. That bag. Yes. Tell us about that bag. That bag. The Telfar shopping bag. Small, medium, large. In a variety um, of colors. It was like basically the entry point to the brand. Telfar Clemens brand, simply called Telfar, has been around since 2005. But last year, sales of his signature bag skyrocketed. It's been spotted on the arms of celebrities like Vanessa Hudgens, Gabrielle Union, Lil Nas X, and Queen Bee herself, Beyonce. Hello, hello. And in 2020, his bag made Oprah's favorite things list. But even as demand for Telfar shopping bag rises, Clemens says prices which range from $150 to $257 won't change. What's your thinking, Telfar, behind uh, the price point? Then bags. the price point, it came from me as like kind of like a nightlife person that I would earn my money through DJing gigs. So I wanted it to be like the price that you would get DJing one DJ gig, which was like at the time, like, I'm like, 150 bucks? 200 bucks? Yeah, that makes sense. This thing of hierarchy or exclusivity or you can't get to me. It's like funnier when it's like you get to me. Clemens' earliest designs were not those handbags. They were the unisex clothes he says he wanted to wear. He created his first collection when he was 18 years old. I would go through the men's section and then I'd go to the women's section and then I'd go to the kids' section. And it is like, you know, and just like kind of like that really built your style. Now at 36, he's designed the 2020 Olympics uniforms for Team Liberia. His family is from that West African country and he spent some of his younger years there. I've heard you say that you want your line, your designs to be genderless. Yeah. Yeah, it's genderless, you know. Each thing is like, you know, people say that and they're saying that as like a buzzword. It's not just like something that you scroll online or see on Vogue.com or see on a model. It's like actually like, no, you saw your mom in it and then you saw your brother in it and, and you saw, you And know. that's okay. You saw yes. your mom in it and you saw your brother in it and yes. that's okay. It is okay. I don't know why people pressure themselves so much to be so stressed. <laughs> Like, fashion doesn't have to be stressful. Uh-huh. You know, it can just be cool. This is your, it's not storyboard. What do you call it in the fashion industry? Stuff that's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> this is your stuff that's coming up board. Yeah. So my yeah. eye goes to this. Help me understand what thigh this hole is. Thigh-hole What do you call this? The thigh-hole jean. And this is a hot selling item. And this is the fastest selling item. We went with Clemens and Telfar's creative director, Babak Radboy, to their Brooklyn warehouse office and stockroom. There, we got a sneak peek at what's coming up next. Now, uh, listen, I think this is gonna give the bag a run Ooh. for the money. This is your duffel, this is new. The new bag, one it, of the first. Three sizes. Yes, iterations of the new bag since the shopping bag. I'm so excited about the duffel. And so this, this is, is our actual collection of like, you know. All of oh, our I classic really like winter this. jacket styles that I've been wanting to make for so long. Peacoat in a puff. That's cute. That's very cute. Sweatpan in a puff. But why am I so worried about those thigh out pants? You gotta try because it Because you're, you're, you're <laughs> overthinking it. I, we're gonna do the thigh hole challenge and I'll show you. Okay. So show you how it's done. You, did you, you know. find a size for me? We found a size okay, for you. Okay, I will do it. Let's see why this is the highest selling jean. In the collection. Da da da! You, you know I look ridiculous. I look ridiculous. You look so good. Look, look at how fab you are. I, listen, I know I look this, ridiculous. I just did this for this story. I will look. never wear these jeans. Oh, black her words. But all, she's of you, her all of you, I salute you. I salute when you. When you see her in these jeans, this is silly for me. So maybe we should put on the full jeans and then okay. we could go for a bike ride. I'm down, I'm down. 
Does my hat go with my outfit? You look so beautiful! <laughs> Exclusive! <laughs> boo, boo, boo. You said this isn't even out yet. It's not out Yay. yet. Clemens says he bikes from borough to borough every day, getting inspired while people watching along the way. I see what people are wearing and I'm like, oh, Oh, everybody's wearing this kind of color and everybody's yeah. wearing this kind of thing. It's like each collection, each collection is kind of like a consensus of what I see or miss see or what I want to see. What you see or miss see. Yeah, because oh. like I thought that person's shirt was going like this and it's like, oh no, it's not. I should make that shirt. <laughs> you know what I mean? It seems like whenever you're doing, are you always thinking fashion? Kind of. It's just like all of this stuff is like, it comes into play and it also helps me just sort out things that I'm actually into, you know? <laughs> And now he's thinking forward. Instead of a runway show during New York's Fashion Week, Clemens announced plans for Telfar TV, a 24-7 public access channel where people will be able to purchase new products and watch videos created by consumers and in-house. It's live and it's right now. You know, how people did learn about the brand is through social media. Yeah. And social media has a lot of like regulations, you know, mm -hmm. and rules that is... Do you like rules? I don't like a rule. I don't like <laughs> yeah. a rule. When I when there's a, a, too many rules, I move on to a thing that has no rules. That's mine, you know. When we appear on other people's platforms, it's just really not necessarily getting the message across. Or, we'll, you know, it's just going to be a lot easier for us to be ourselves and do what we do. You know, you know. It, it's kind of hard to describe what even a Telfar customer is, isn't it? It's everybody. Yeah. You know. As it says, not for you, for <laughs> everyone. Everybody, yeah. You know, he, I have to say, he is so much fun. After the shoot, I sent pictures to my favorite daughter and favorite son. They said, you're not doing that on TV, are you? My son goes, that's a lot, a lot of thigh. And Kirby goes, my only question is why, why? I wanted to show that I will never wear them, but I, I see the appeal for a lot of people. Yeah, but why? Definitely, why? De definitely not for me. But I like him. He said when he was growing up, he wanted to be an accountant because he's really good with numbers. But this, he says, guys. The duffel? The duffel, the duffel tote is going to be the new hot bag. You know why? He's got a thing called bag security that if you order it, the prices never go up. He will guarantee that. that you will get it. I love guarantee. that. Guarantee. I like Doesn't the price jack point. Up the I also like that you can slip a little dog in here. Yes, get you, it on can. A plane. <laughs> you can. You can. It works. You can. Yeah. I can appreciate we, we, um, the humble beginnings, though. You know, and I, let that be a message to anybody that is falling in love with the craft that might not see the immediate results. He's had his business since 2005. 2005. Yep. And he just popped over the last few years, right? I brought this for your favorite daughter, Mia. Okay. Oh, I appreciate that. That's what I I'm talking about. I brought this for your favorite wife, Katie. We, we didn't even Did have time really? to take the paper off. Oh, I, said, I was going to say, uh, wait, I'm going to keep this one. No, no, no. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no. wait. People have to understand, wait, I think wait, it has, wait, wait, Gail sometimes has no, stuff sent It her. comes in small, medium, and large, and wait. I think I might keep the medium. Well, why I get the Happy will, Meal version? This is for Mia. Okay, all right. This is for your favorite daughter, Mia. You're watching CBS. <laughs> Katie, I'm keeping this one. Sorry, you're watching CBS. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. That's for Mia.